Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to generate unique ID in Power Apps. Now, let me show you an example of generating unique ID in Power Apps. Here, I have a leave request application that allows employee to request for the leave. Now, I am going to request one new deal. I filled all the details. Now, I am going to submit this leave request. And in SharePoint list, you can see request id generated and here you can see the request id is made up of three parts the req is a prefix and the current date in the format of year month and date and the first five numeric digits from the guid this combination ensures each id is a unique and easy to identify the identity of the leave request and this can be really useful when employees submit multiple requests as it helps to differentiate between each one and track them easily in your application. Now let me introduce myself. I am Harita working as a Power Platform Consultant. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more tutorials on Power Apps. Now let's get into the implementation. In the welcome screen, new button on select property, I have provided uh, the following code and uh, this one here the GUID function will return the globally unique identifier which is in the form of a string and that will be stored in this um, my GUID variable and then I created another variable called var digits and it will store the first five numbers from the GUID and here you can see I am using the split function for this my GUID and the, it is containing the string of uh, GUID uh, and the split function will split the string into each characters and uh, by using this filter function i am fetching only the values which is the numbers to get the numbers i am using is numeric function so the filter function will get only the numbers from the guid which is returning from the split function and by using this first n function i am getting uh, only five digits from the uh, guid after getting all these numbers that we are storing into this uh, var digits now after generating all these things we will navigate to the term leave request form now i am previewing once let's see whether the guid is created or not again i am clicking this new button and when i click on this my guid here you can see the guid is generated like which is a combination of letters and numbers and here if you see and when i click on this split function here you can see the guid which is a string that is split into a each character when i click on that filter function you can able to see uh, i am getting only the numbers see when i click on this var digit i am able to see five digits one 912 and 83. Now, this var digits variable is containing the first five numbers from the GUID. Now, let's see the remaining things. In the leave request form, here I am including all the fields, including request ID also, but I made this data card as a invisible because we are not going to enter any value for the request ID. It needs to be generated automatically. So, I make it as a invisible. And in the submit button on select property, I have provided this code. And here you can see by using the update context function, I am creating one local variable. The variable name is var request id. And this variable is containing value like req, which is a prefix I am using for generating request id. And then using the now function, I am getting the current date. With the help of the text function, we are converting that current date in the format of year, month and date. And then I am concatenating this var digits, which we are getting in the new request button uh, in the welcome screen so here you can able to see that five digits uh, so by using this concatenate function i am converting all these digits into a string and uh, then i am con concatenating with this uh, see when i click on the string function and here you can able to see that first five numbers in the form of the text so so this var request id will contains our request id so copy this variable and paste in the request id data card values default property now save the changes and preview the app once you can see uh, while submitting the leave request uh, the id will be generated automatically now i am submitting another leave request
see again a new request id is generated and which is unique from the previous one so in this way we can generate a, a unique request id from the power apps itself you no need to worry about the code in the description box below i have provided a link which contains the code to generate unique id from power apps thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel